I'm Hank Bodine, linebacker, Velva High School, and you're watching Under the Lights KMOT. Welcome back to Under the Lights. Thanks, Hank. For the past two years, Ned Rose bye week has been the first week of the season. So this is the Cardinals' first game of the season, and they're at Shiloh Christian tonight. Skyhawks go to the air. Eli Thompson, he makes a nice move after the grab. Breaks near side, and Thompson, 25 yards for the Skyhawks. Touchdown, Shiloh scores first. Skyhawks, probably one of the top weapons in their area. Michael Foggerlin on the sweep near the sideline. He turns the corner 20 yard gallops into the end zone. Shiloh's lead grows. Next score a little closer. Foggerlin powers over a couple of yards out. Shiloh Christian firmly in control of that one tonight. Out in the southwest corner of the state, Stanley Blue Jays are visiting Bowman County. After forcing Stanley to punt on its first possession, Bowman County gets the run game going. Bowden Duffield pitches to his brother Bishop Duffield, scoots around the right side and down the sideline before he's knocked out at the five. Very next play, Bulldogs up the middle. Senior fullback Riggs Rodberger falls across the goal line, gives the home team a 6-0 lead. Blue Jays almost gave up a great opportunity to score. Quarterback Tyler Gelstead mishandles a pitch to Clay Papa, but Stanley recovers, and on the next play, Gelstead drops back to pass. He finds a wide open. Jace Anderson ties the game. Stanley almost got one on the road, but the Bulldogs pull the away late to win. On the other side of the Queen City, Kenmare at Southern McLean. Rough Riders of a 16-0 lead when we pick up. Joshua Lanning scrambles, finds Charlie Sand 20 yards up the field. A big gain for Southern McLean. Rough Riders move the ball to the five yard line. This is a big sack from Peyton Helwig. The honker keeps the home team from adding any more. In the third quarter, Rough Riders still have that 16 zip lead. Jack Redrath breaks free. He's going to the left side. A touchdown makes it 22 to zero. Southern McLean, they held on and did not let go of their grip. Honkers host Bishop Ryan next week. In nine-man ball, Dunseith in Underwood to play the 0-1 Central McLean Cougars. On the first drive of the game, Dunseith's Jeremy Laducer Jr. finds Thane Gladue in the back of the end zone to open the scoring. 6-0 Dragons. Cougars on their second play of the game. It's a quarterback keeper, and Aiden Hansen gets free on the right side. He goes all the way to the house and ties this game up. Dragons, they get back with it on their own 15-yard line. Leducer Jr., he's in trouble, finds the hero. Glad you again. Green grass ahead of him, takes it all the way, and Dunsey back on top. Central McLean gets the ball back, and this is another quarterback keeper for Hanson. Zigs in, zigs out, zigs in and out, ties the game back up, and a really big second half from the Cougars gives them their first win of the season. Hey, it's time to crown our player of the night. He's a senior who wears red, white, and blue, and he's from the Deluxe Burlington Lakers. Logan Rist had four touchdowns tonight. He's going to need that same energy in Deluxe next week because the Lakers host the top team in their division, Velva, on Friday night. Great game, Logan. Valley City traveled up to Belcourt, handed the Braves a shutout loss. Man, sometimes that first win of the year can be the hardest. TMCHS plays at Jamestown next week. In single A, Ray Powers Lake gets their first win of the season. The Kildare Cowboys wrangled the Royals. That was yesterday. Botno's first game on their brand new turf, also their first win on the turf. Braves are 2-0 to start the season. Carrington Cardinals flew out of the Panthers' claws. In nine-man, boy, North Prairie, 50-point win over Laramore, working hard toward that number one rank, and I know they want it. St. John, also from Region 2, after a tough loss last week, Woodchucks chopped their way to a win. At Hammond Park, there is plenty of tennis, hosted by Minot High today and tomorrow all day long. The Magi slipped by Century and Bismarck High, but swept Jamestown. Invite continues tomorrow morning at 8.30 at Hammond Park if you make it by. At the Magic City campus, Minot Girls Swimming started the season by doubling up Dickinson. Sam Van Bakkern won the 50 free and 100 butterfly. Ava Williamson won the 100 free and 100 breaststroke. They swim Mandan tomorrow. Sports lovers, whole lot to be excited about in Minot. We got week two coming up of Under the Lights next week already. Man, this is going to be such a great season of high school football. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Under the Lights coverage. Have a great weekend.